There's something innately satisfying about completing a puzzle, slotting a piece into a space that it perfectly fits. Spring Meadow is the latest in a long line of games to exploit this dopamine rush, from designer Uwe Rosenberg, who first got us addicted with his game Patchwork. This channel is viewer funded. If my reviews have helped you decide which games to buy over the years, please consider pledging at patreon.com forward slash actualol. For a year, it'll only cost you the price of one board game. We're walking through alpine fields wearing special snow melting hiking boots. But let's not pretend the theme is anything but an excuse to give us something pretty to look at whilst we play board game Tetris. Tetris games is just how I describe them because every time I say polyomino, I feel like a student trying to show off by using a long word that they think no one will know. But of all the Tetris games, Spring Meadow actually feels the most like Tetris. You're trying to perfectly fill up the rows from the bottom of your board because you only score up to and including your first incomplete row, 10, 20, four, anything above that is pointless. So just like Tetris, if you've got a long gap running through your meadow, you're desperately hoping that the right piece will appear to plug the hole and save your entire game. On your turn, you pick a tile from your line and place it anywhere on your board. Bigger pieces are tempting because they'll cover more ground, but are they helping you complete your early rows quickly enough? The board helps you look ahead and see what pieces you'll have access to in your next few turns, but no amount of precognition will stop you from falling into the trap of taking the piece that fits nicely into your pretty meadow. Look at it. What good are points in the land of symmetric satisfaction? You might not win, but you've got a quality Instagram post out of it. Take a puzzle piece, place a puzzle piece. It's easy, anyone could do it. But it's these holes that will set apart the grandmas from the grandmasters. Where there are marmot burrows on your board, you need to place a piece with a hole on top of it. The Ramblers Association does not look favorably on marmot suffocation, okay? But if you've already liberated one marmot burrow, you are allowed to trample over another one. Marmots are a tricky inconvenience, but there's a whole lot more to these holes than that. If you can line up holes so they're next to each other, you're rewarded with rocks. Rocks are your savior. They're the patches in patchwork, the cats in cottage garden. They're the polyfiller to cover over your embarrassing gaps, or polyomino filler, if you will. It's a puzzle on top of a puzzle. If you can connect up those holes whilst filling up your rows, you're a genius and the game rewards you by filling up even more of your board with the rocks. What's more is that every time you add a new hole to a cluster, you get another rock. One bigger than the last. And again. And again. If you're lucky, you can get a hole touching engine going and add a new four space rock every turn. I managed eight holes in my first ever game and won by a landslide. You know how in The Simpsons they appeal to the kids with silly jokes, but keep the adults happy with jokes that the kids don't understand? Spring Meadow is also playing at two levels. The superficial puzzle work is keeping the kids entertained, but the adults are more interested in touching holes. When I told people I was reviewing this game, I got a lot of comments about it flogging a dead horse. After all, this is Uwe Rosenberg's fourth Tetris game. I've played all four and Spring Meadow is my favorite. It takes all the best bits from its predecessors. From Patchwork, it takes the importance of filling every gap, the eternal quest for completion that makes us want to play again and do better. From Cottage Garden, it takes the simple but effective board for selecting tiles. And Indian Summer lends its innovation of tiles with holes on them. In fact, coming after Indian Summer with all its rules and tokens, I worried that Spring Meadow would be even more complex, but it's actually a lot more streamlined. Spring Meadow doesn't mess around with economies or special powers or the stupid idea of multiple small boards. I'm looking at you, Cottage Garden. It focuses on the pure joy of puzzling. Can you pick the right pieces to fit your board and close off gaps better and faster than everyone else? To some, this won't mean much. It's still an Uwe Rosenberg puzzle game. But for the fans like me, the horse is very much alive and it's got plenty of flogging left in it. Spring Meadow gets a seal of actual love. If you've never played a Tetris game before, you should start here. The rules are simple. It plays two to four players really well, 
and there's hidden depth when you're ready for it. There's a link to where you can buy Spring Meadow in the description below. If you like this video, please subscribe to see more videos like this. And if you want there to be more actual lol in the world, pledge support at patreon.com forward slash actual lol. I'm John Perkis. Thanks for watching.